Good evening, Brad. As you mentioned, uh, this is not over yet, although the Democratic Party is claiming victory in this race. Their candidate up by a few hundred votes. It took a little longer than we thought, but we did it. Connor Lamb, the pro-gun, pro-union Democrat, may well have swiped a congressional seat long held by the GOP in Pennsylvania's 18th congressional district. Though his opponent in this hard-fought special election, Republican State Rep Rick Saccone, warns. You know we're still fighting the fight. It's not over yet. We're going to fight all the way to, all the way to the end. And the National Party has his back, prepping for a likely recount. Attorney Sean Logue, a Saccone backer, watched the opening of absentee ballots overnight in Washington County. I thought that uh, the process was flawed. There are other issues uh, that, that I'm just being informed about with the machines themselves. And I know that there are some potential voter irregularities in Allegheny County, which uh, has a, a giant chunk of the electorate. Lamb, a former federal prosecutor and Marine Corps veteran, ran as a moderate, distancing himself from minority leader Nancy Pelosi while promising to work with the president, who won here in 2016, backing Trump's tariffs and avoiding the alienation of his voters. We fought to find common ground and we found it almost everywhere. Democrats, Republicans, independents, each of us Americans. The state Democratic Party chair claims the blue wave of 2018 began in Pennsylvania with Lamb's win. And in Washington, national party leaders are looking with hope toward November. We have quite a few kind of lambs uh, running out there. We do have those, that caliber of individuals out there running uh, for elective office. But on the other side of the aisle, Saccone's likely loss is reverberating. It's uh, a 20-point Trump district. Um, you know, that's, that's a wake-up call. It sure is. As Republicans reflect on what it could mean for the midterms. Both of these people, both of these candidates, the Republican and the Democrat, reign as conservatives. Ran as pro-gun, pro-life, anti-Nancy Pelosi conservatives. And I think that's, that's the takeaway we see here. The NRCC says election officials for all four counties have agreed to a Saccone campaign request to impound ballots and machines. And Republicans continue to seek information regarding voting irregularities. Brett? Molly, thank you.